Hello everyone. So this is Mr. O again and we're gonna do today another hands-on activity. We're gonna start with what we finished last time, which basically means you have to have something like I have in here, right? Or something exactly, you know, not exact, but something very similar to it. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's talk about what you have to have. Now, as we said, you have to start with what you finished last time, but you might need to take a few things off. So because all I have, what you have is base plate, four wheels, and possibly some gears in here. If you attached anything else, please take it off. Now, before we start our work, let's talk about what we actually need today. Obviously, we're gonna use some hex wrenches. So I'm gonna use some of these and some of these. They are interchangeably used. They're about the same thing. So, you know, you don't have to have all of them, but just make sure you have some hex wrenches. Also, besides hex wrenches, let's make sure you have some hex nuts. So I'm gonna use one and two of those. I think I just need two. If I need more throughout the video, I might get more, but I think two would be enough. Next thing which you will need to use today is gonna be one of these L or C brackets. Let's say, or you can just use L or C channel. Looks a lot like this. It doesn't have to be exact, it can be similar, but that's what I'm using, that's what I suggest that you use. Next things which we will use are some screws. So out of these screws, we're gonna use two of these small screws, see? And we're gonna use two of these higher, bigger diameter screws. Again, they're not longer, but they have slightly bigger diameter. I'm also gonna use some nuts in here. And I'm gonna use some washers. Right, just right in here. Once I have these things in here, another thing I will use is a short axle. And also I will use one of these gears. I will use battery pack. I will use electrical motor. And I will use the thing called Cortex. Again, let me put those hex nuts in here. And this way, in front of you, you see everything I will need for today's activity. All right, let's get it started. So first of all, I'm gonna try to position everything I'm gonna use on my vehicle. Now, what the, my plan is somehow today to attach this electrical motor to this axle so my car will actually be drivable. I'll be able to put it on the floor and it will drive, so to speak, by itself, when I connect better to it. So how do I do it? First of all, I'm thinking to myself, okay, let me attach my uh, motor using some gears. So I'll take one of these gears and I'll put it right in here. Let me remove more so it doesn't stay in our way for now. All right, now, once I put it in here, what I realize is I'm gonna put this axle through. However, if you look a little bit closer in here, see how I use the washer? So which means if I were to put gear in here, it will not be the same distance from a base plate. So. Smart me says, I need to use washer of the same size as I used in here for this gear. This way, both like gears will be equally distanced from the base plate. Right. Another thing which I learned, so to speak, the hard way, it's a little bit challenging to put everything together on the axle and then attach it. What I mean is this, look, if I try to put this thing in here and then try to attach it, uh, I can't really slide it in because this wheel is in its way. So what I'll have to do is, I have to pull this out and see where my gear goes. It's, it's aligned with this hole. What I do next, I'll put the gear on the side and I'll put washer on the axle. Then I take my gear, turn this way, and uh, I will use my gear like this. See, I put right in here. See, I have to slide this through while it's in here. Now they're roughly the same distance from a base plate. All right, next thing which I do, I would want this washer and this axle not to fall off. So I will use one of the hex nuts and I'll put it in here. Once I put this hex nut right in here, let me do it. What I do, I'll slightly tighten with a wrench. So I take a wrench and I tie this thing. This wrench might not be a very good one, so I'll use a better one. All right, so once I done this thing, I'm touching it, just trying to make sure nothing falls off, good. All right, now the idea is that I will use this motor and I will try to put it in here. See, so motor has this 
like four-sided opening in here let's say the square side like i mean square and see this axle is square so which means i it you know i can put more like this on the axle and more will be able to rotate my gear the only problem is if i just left it like this the whole thing will fall apart so my next job is i have to figure out how to attach this motor so it will not fall off so that's why i'm gonna use one of these brackets uh, I played with this for a few minutes before and uh, I thought which way is better to turn the C bracket. Quite honestly, I did not come up with the best solution, but I think for a sake of what we do, let's turn it this way. See? All right. So I'll take this more a little bit back and I'll take this thing and put it in here. All right. Now, when I've done this thing, uh, I'll put my more right where it is. Okay. And let me just test it just to make sure that I have enough room for my cortex. And see, I'm struggling a little bit because it doesn't seem like cortex is going to fit. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this more and I'll rotate it the other way. See what I've done this way, this way. I thought through and I decided, look, I need to put my more turn this way so cortex will fit in here. All right. Now, as I said before, let's start attaching things. So let's start attaching this bracket. What I do first, I will put my bracket like this. Okay, let me try again. I'll put it like this. Now, once I put it like this, I sort of know the place where it has to be. Now I take these screws, the thicker, the higher, bigger diameter ones, and I'll put one in here, somewhere close to the end. All right. And let me slide this through. And let me put the second one in here somewhere maybe this distance again because remember the main thing why we put in this is to hold this axle in place so you don't have to put it all the way at the end now i'm gonna turn my invention sideways and i will use these type of nuts to put it in here all right let me put it in the screen so you can see it and i tie it up a little bit with my hands now i'll take the second one and I'll do the same. Let me twist, turn it a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. When I turn it this way, let's turn it, turn it, turn it. Look what happened. Now I have this. All right. I will probably use some sort of a wrench just to turn it, like to tighten it a little bit. So what I did right now, I tightened this thing. Okay. Now let me just test it again just to make sure that cortex fits. And let's make sure that more fits. Okay. Here's one thing. If I were just to put more in here, look what happens. This thing will still slide out. So the next thing which comes to my mind is how do I make this thing not slide so much? How do I do it? Very easy. I will use one of these hex nuts and I will put it right in here. See, right in this spot. Actually, but remember what we said. If I did like this, I'll have too much of a friction. So I need one of the washers. I take a washer and I'll put it in here. I'll take a hex nut, I'll put it in here, and now I take a screw, I take, I'm sorry, I take a hex wrench, and I will tighten this thing up. All right, see? Now, let me test it, make sure nothing falls off. It seems like it holds together. Only now I'm ready to put my motor in. When I put take my motor, what I'm gonna do right now, let me see, I'll try, see, and I, I put it in. Now it's nice and tight. The next thing which I'll do, of course, I don't want my motor to fall off. So what I'm doing, I'm taking these thinner screws, th screws with the smaller diameter, see? And when I take these screws, I'll put one in here, right? Okay, second, please. Okay, I'll take one in here, let's move, and I'll put where more is, and I'll try to tighten it with my hands at first. We will use a wrench in a second, but because space is so tight, it makes more sense to tighten this thing with hands at first, see? Okay, let me just make sure everything nice and straightened. Okay, now, all right, and uh, now. When you tighten this thing enough with your hands that you cannot do it anymore. Now we're gonna use wrench, see? That's the reason why I did not, see, hex key in here is really hard to put in almost impossible that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use one of these small wrenches because look i can i don't have to put it this way i'm also okay to put it sideways like this 
And again, it's gonna take some time to twist this wrench to move it because each time you have to take it out after each partial turn. So what you want to do, you want to make sure that your screw is in as much as possible before you actually use wrench. So I use wrench, see, and I have to take it out after each half turn. Take wrench, have to take it out. I take my wrench in here, put it in, and I have to take it out. See, it takes a little bit of time. Okay, I think that's good. Now, now we're gonna do the similar thing with the second screw. Again, I put it in. First, I'll hand tighten this thing as much as I can because if I use wrench at first, it's gonna take me forever to actually use wrench to put this thing in. Okay, once I done this thing, again, last couple times, I will twist it with the wrench, right? So I'll try to put wrench in and I'll move, and I'll actually, I see, all right, so, and my wrench helps me to put screw in. All right. I'm just trying to make sure at, at least, at least one of these screws is nice, is nice and tight. Quite honestly, if you only did one screw, which is nice and tight, second just helps you to keep the direction of a motor, so it's not that critical. Now, what we will do next is we have to attach cortex. And this is the part which I must admit that I did not think through when I told you you only needed a few screws. So I'm gonna go and get a few more screws which I can attach cortex with. Now, when attaching cortex, it's not quite critical to have four screws because cortex is not gonna move far anyway. So what I'm gonna do, I will only attach it with two screws because it, there is no mechanical pressure on this cortex. All I need to do, just make sure it doesn't like move by itself. So to achieve this, see, I put one screw underneath. Then what I'm gonna do, I will put the second screw in here through the top and uh, I will put another screw right in here, as you see. All right. As I've done this part of work, I'm gonna attach battery. Now, we're not attaching battery with any screws because we will need to charge them quite frequently. So for now, we'll just leave it hanging in here. Again, please do not tape it, do not attach your battery anyhow. Now, the port for a battery is in here on the back. See where I'm showing you. So what you're gonna do, make sure that your cortex is off. So before you do anything, just first put this thing on off and plug in your cortex. When you do, when you plug your battery in the cortex. Now, once you've done this thing, you can test it, make sure that there is light in here, right? But when it lights up, just turn it off. But look, here's where we gonna, all right, so here's where we gonna plug our thing. As you see, there are two wires, black and red. So black wire should face the outside of cortex if it's turned this way. Just look at the picture, see where these lights are in here. That's the black, uh, black wire goes on inside, outside, sorry, and red one goes on inside. And now we're ready to test our vehicle. So let's turn it on. All right, it tries to escape. So let's move our camera. 